I can't believe that it's still snowing in April. <laughs> Hey, it's been a hot minute, um, five months to be precise. Uh, don't worry, I'm back. I will be posting every full moon, which is a fun thing to keep track of instead of every week. Um, don't know whose idea that was. I got a new job, so that's great. You might have also noticed that over the last few months I changed all of my social media names. Hi. My name's Ezra. It feels so good to say that. So you might recall that back a little over five months ago, I skipped a week of making videos. This was because I was really sick. It was the first time that I was able to lie down and be alone with my thoughts in years. I am not the best at time management, and that means that I have a really bad work-life, personal life relationship. This was the first time I had ever been able to process something that I didn't know I needed to process. I never sat down and tried to think through my own gender identity because it always felt like that was somebody else. Somebody else was trans, somebody else fit the invisible criteria. Around mid high school, I realized that I could cover up my hips by wearing skirts. So I decided to just embrace hyper femininity. With my cosplays, I cosplayed men a lot more than I did women. In media, male characters were the ones that I related to the most. Realizing this made me super uncomfortable being on camera in a very feminine way. I didn't think that I could possibly be trans, when in reality, clothing doesn't have a gender. We see this in beautiful men who wear dresses and skirts and women who wear three-piece suits. It's just clothing and it belongs to everyone. Ever since I can remember, I dealt with depersonalization, derealization, and dissociation. I could never recognize myself in the mirror. I realized that I never identified with the societal idea of a woman. My pronouns are he, them. I've been on tea for about a month and a half now. I feel like I belong in this body now, and that's not something that I've really experienced for a while. My body dysphoria has completely gone away. My videos might seem a little bit different in style. It's going to be a lot more produced, a lot more editing going into it, meaning I have to post a lot less to make things that I'm proud of. I'm going to be posting every full moon. If you want to help out, all the money from Kofi and Patreon are going straight to my top surgery fund. My Kofi and Patreon links will be down in the description. Thank you so much for sticking with me throughout all this. I really appreciate everyone that's been patient with me and guiding me on. And thank you for loving me. <laughs> thank you for accepting me. It means the world to me. <laughs>